Hi, my name's Harvey. I've been a chef for many years now. What I'd like to do today is I'd like to show you a really lovely dish, quite easy to do using a quite unusual cut of meat. So what I'm going to be using is what's known as the cholera pork. This particular one is Iberico. So it's Spanish, it's got a lovely marbling where it's fed on like acorns. It's got quite a bit of fat, but don't worry, we're going to cook all that down. I'm going to cook it on top of some potatoes. I'm going to use this lovely cider from Herefordshire with it, some apple juice, and I'm going to make a really simple pickled red cabbage to go with it. So it really is an easy dish. We've got a nice little spice mix there. So I've got some paprika and some cumin and some mustard seed and some fennel. Just going to rub it all over, sear it off, put it on top of our potatoes with our cider and apple and let it cook itself. So let's get started. So as I said, I've got this really simple spice mix. I'm just going to literally mix it all up together. Don't worry, there's a recipe on Tom's blog for this, but it really is quite simple. And I'm literally just going to cover my pork like so. Now you've got to get your hands dirty. And you just want to roll it a little bit in that. Like so, lift it up so I can get it. I just want it really well covered with my spices. Now you can do this in advance and then leave it in the fridge, which is really nice to let it do, but for the video, we're literally just gonna sit it, let it get covered really well in all them lovely spices like that. Just gonna sit it, now I'm gonna get my grill ready. While that's marinating, I'm gonna start on my potatoes. Really simple, so literally take the ends off, I'll give them a wash, and I'm going to cut them really quite thick, as you can see, like so. The reason I'm cutting them so thick is because they're going to sit underneath the pork and the pork's going to take a fair bit of time to cook, like so. Nice big slices, they're going to be lovely. All the juices from the pork's going to go into them. They're going to be absolutely delicious. We're just going to lay the bottom of our tray. There's a lot of potatoes there, but it's a nice big piece of meat. It's going to easily feed five to six people. I love a bit of garlic, so I'm just splitting that garlic horizontally, putting like that. I'm going to chuck a little bit of thyme in, because I like thyme. Thyme, you can put sage if you like. I like thyme. Season them, but not too heavily, because you're going to get seasoning coming through from your pork and your pork marinade. A little bit of olive oil, not too much. Finally, a nice bit of black pepper. So they're pretty much ready to go. Right, beautiful. As this is such a big piece, I'm literally just going to cut it in half. So look at that lovely marbling going through there. Wonderful. Make sure we dip our ends and it really well marinated. Starting off, let's get some oil in there. Nice bit of olive oil. Start the process off. Just like so. You're not going to want a heavy seal on this because obviously you've got some sugars and some stuff. It's going to blacken up, but that's lovely. That's what you want. You see there's a lovely caramelisation. We're literally just going to get it in the pan, seal it off gently. Now it's nicely sealed off. Don't need it to be too mad because we're going to cook it. Now, next piece, same again. I'm going to spread all of them lovely juices on top. You don't have to seal it off, I just like to seal them in. A little bit of caramelisation happening. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut what's known as deglass our pan. Just took the black bits off. I'm just going to add my cider. Lovely bit of cider, perfect combination, cider and pork, I think. So I'm just going to add, add that, let that reduce slightly. Now you can see our cider's coming right down. We're going to add a nice splash of apple juice now. Bring that down and also my little pork bullion. Add that and let all that come down. Just want to take it down a little bit so all the flavours are nice and rich. And we're literally going to pour it in our pan cover it with tin foil, preheat my oven at 140 degrees. It's important that you get it hot. What I tend to do, if you start your oven off higher, maybe 200, 210, just for like five or 10 minutes, just to get the heat into your dish. So as you can see, it's coming down really nicely. So now what we're gonna do is I'm literally just gonna pour that in like that. I've set my oven high to start off with. I'm gonna just cover that with foil really is this easy. Boil that up like so. I've got my oven set at 225. I'm going to put that in there literally just for 10 minutes. Make sure you set your timer. So I'm going to put my timer on. 
10 minutes just to get the heat going through the pork. And we're gonna cook that for approximately five to six hours. Right, now for our pickled red cabbage. So I'm gonna start off by making me pickling liquor. So I've got some brown sugar here. I'm gonna add the same amount of vinegar and I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just gonna add that to there. I don't add equal amounts of water. I feel it's a little bit too much. I've got some nice little pickling spices here. So I've got a couple of cloves, a little bit of chili, some mustard seeds and some fennel seeds. A little crack of salt. I'm literally just gonna bring that up to the boil, just so it all melts down. The reason I've got gloves on <laughs> is because of the red cabbage. So start with the red cabbage. Now you can do this, some people, they like to add their liquid hot, so the cabbage is cooked. I like it really quite raw. So I'm literally just gonna take my cabbage out like so, trim it like that. And then I find it's easier if you break it into lumps, easier to handle, like so. And then you're just gonna cut it nice and thin. So now as you can see, my lovely red cabbage, I've added my onions, that'll probably be enough for us for tonight. The rest I put in a jar, screw it, put it in your cupboard, it lasts a good couple of months. So now I've removed the foil from my pork, now I'm going to just have a look at it. So there it is, it's looking absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that, let that rest, give my potatoes a little move around, turn them over in the juice and then we're just gonna bang up the heat so they get a lovely golden brown color. They're lovely. And then we'll pop them back in the oven. The moment of chew, truth, I've just popped the pork back on top of my potatoes. As you can see, they're looking amazing. Just gonna remove one of these beautiful pieces of pork. Just gonna slice it. That is just like butter. Look at the moisture in that. Absolutely superb. Look at that, beautiful, just dribbling. What a wonderful dish. Remember, you can buy this. Tom Hickson's the Smithfield Collar of Pork. Believe me, once you've tried it, you'll love it. It's a really simple dish, great Sunday roast. <laughs>